battle has just begun! Hey, hello, it's time for the Robotnik and Sexy Show. Instead of sleeping tonight, I'm gonna stay up super late and make a stupid Pokemon video for you guys. Uh, this is a battle I had. Uh, it's a battle. Uh, he's gonna lead with Hammer Palm. I predict this. I'm gonna lead with Fable. This is a mono region Kanto team. Kanto region theme team, you might even call it. There's a Clefable, there are some other Kanto Pokemon in there too. So uh, this Ambipom's just uh, going straight for a U-turn. I don't know why I didn't try to fake out first. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. But I'm gonna Thunder Wave whatever I want. Which is Venusaur, uh, and I'm kinda okay with that. Um, because that means I can set up with my Venusaur. And looking at his team, he had a pincer, so there's no way he has a Mega Venusaur in like a normal pincer. So yeah, I'll just like take this opportunity to Mega Evolve and just hit it, I guess. And yeah, that Venusaur is not winning a battle against Mega Venusaur. Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, so, uh, how are you guys? <laughs> it's been a long ass time, been very busy, uh, some tier changes have been happening. Um, it's crazy to see Mamoswine in, in underused. Um, I, I just don't know how to feel about that, but, uh, I won't get off track. I'm gonna synthesis, I'm gonna synthesize as he switches into Pinsir. I think he actually baited uh, my synthesis, um, it was a, looked a little reckless because I was very tempted to click Sludge Bomb again and then his pincer would have taken a lot of damage, it, it probably would have survived though. Um, so yeah, I don't know, like, uh, I, th I do think that was a play though, I do think he really legitimately baited the synthesis and got a free switch into pincer. And uh, he was able to SD and do some damage to Zapdos, uh, but I revenge kill it with Extreme Speed, which has a plus two priority. It's possible he clicked a uh, quick attack, uh, hoping to break my sturdy, because uh, he has a plus two and whatnot, but uh, forgetting about Extreme Speed, so that's cool. Dragonite has done pretty much all it needs to do, just taking out that Mega Pinsir. Because that Mega Pinsir uh, would have made my life hell, obviously. Uh, so Swampert is in here. He's um, being a, a stupid dickhead, and I, I don't know. I'm gonna go rapid spin. Yeah. Uh, it would be nice to have Psyshock to finish off the Venusaur, but I've confused Ray right now. I might switch that around later. I don't know. Uh, there are some things about this Kanto team that I will switch later or have switched later. Uh, as this match is a few days old, and um, I've I've tinkered with the Kanto team since then, um, but uh, yeah, definitely comments are appreciated in the comment section. Tell me what you would like to see in a Kanto team, um, and I will ignore you uh, probably because I usually just do what I want. Uh, <laughs> uh, Yes, I am hilarious. So this uh, Venusaur is, is parafused, confusion plus paralysis. Uh, I'm just gonna like try to kill this guy right now. There's no way he's gonna hit me because he's parafused, but he actually breaks through it and goes for sleep powder and misses. Is there some kind of thing where you can't put um, uh, Pokemon that are using Outrage to sleep? Uh, I know there's something like that with Uproar. And I think it's like that with Outrage 2. I don't know if that's a mechanic I just pull it out, pulled out of my ass or made up on the spot, but it sounds like something that is vaguely familiar to me. So maybe a sleep powder just fails during Outrage? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, maybe I'm just full of shit. I mean, like, the text definitely said that it missed, but anyway. Uh, you know how I like to play with my balls. Um, I predicted him to U-turn on my Dragonite, actually. Uh, after the fake out, uh, but he goes for a double hit, which actually makes a lot of sense. Looking at this team, I don't have any normal resist at all. 
Uh, it would be pretty cool to run a Gengar, wouldn't it, on a Kanto theme team? Uh, wouldn't that be smart? Uh, no. So I've got no normal resist, so staying in for double hit is actually a really good plan. And I don't know why I didn't think of that at the time. So uh, Dragonite is going to risk death early. Um, and uh, bag an extra kill against Ambipom, which is just hilarious. Um, so that Swamper took that Moonblast incredibly well. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, defensive Starmie, though, uh, doesn't really give a shit about anything he has, uh, barring Hydrogon, I guess, but like anything else is fine, and I'll just spam Confuse Ray and Scald forever and be like a total dickhead. I wanted to, um, give it Reflect type actually, but then I, uh, googled it, and apparently it is. A very difficult to get move because only Staryu learns it, so I would have to breed another Starmie, and I I don't know if I can bother <laughs> I can be bothered to breed another one, maybe, for reflect type. Because some reflect type shenanigans would be pretty funny. Uh so Swamper is actually gonna kill Starmie, um because Confuse Ray does nothing. Um so that's unfortunate. Uh, probably definitely didn't need to happen at all. Um, I've got Venusaur sitting pretty right here. And I'm actually gonna, like, uh, play around with this Swampert even further. Going Leech Seed and then going Sludge Bomb. Uh, as if I needed to predict at all, which I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's just me being, uh, a goofy personality. Um, I thought there might be a chance you... Like, this whole match, I thought his Hydrogon would switch into a Giga Drain. Um, I thought there was an outside chance of that happening. Because if he switches into a Giga Drain, he could double out, expecting my Clefable, and then hit me really hard. Because Clefable is, like, the most obvious switch in. Because it's my big, bulky, defensive Pokemon. Um, yeah, so I was kind of afraid of Hydrogon switching into a special move that it resists, but it just never happened. And, uh, I go for plays, or I go for reads that I don't really need to do, um, but are cool anyway. You know, I'm trying to catch a Pokemon with Sludge Bomb, and it's like, his Swampert is pretty much fucked anyway, so it's like, you know, you can pretty much play with your food at that point. I'm gonna fodder Zapdos, which didn't do much, but it did hurt Mega Pinsir quite a lot, so that counts for a lot. So this is one of the plays I go for. I'm, I'm still expecting his Hydrogon to switch into something, but it just doesn't happen. I go close combat, does a surprising amount to the Luxray, uh, almost kills it, uh, but then I get killed by Wall Charge, uh, but he's um, gonna take some damage himself and live with a tiny amount uh, as he goes Wild Charge, kills himself, and I just go Wish, and that's a critical hit. That is the uh, sixth generation critical hit, folks. <laughs> Doesn't do damn near anything, as I'm like, well, whatever, uh, let me just uh, throw up a Wish real quick. And his last Pokemon is Hydrogon. I could be a total bastard and go for Thunder Wave, uh, but no, I... Uh, I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a real bro uh, or whatever, and I'm just gonna like finish it with uh, Moonblast. As the Fire Blast is half my health. Holy fuck! Uh, Specs Hydrogon, calm down, calm down. So that's the match. Uh, first wife of battle in a while. Uh, tell me what you think about this Kanto team. Shortly after this uh, battle, I switched out Zapdos for Golem. The good old Lumberry Golem that um, Ninja Deathstrike and I made together, literally, um, back in the day, many years ago now, ages ago, um, because the team needed Stealth Rock, and it just needed, I don't know, like, something. Like, I was thinking about Doug Trio, but then I was like, you know, Golem, I fucking love Golem. Like, every time I play through Red Blue, I use Golem. Um, he's, he's, he's a guilty pleasure, so Gollum is definitely on the team right now. Uh, I also have a Mew that I could use, uh, and I have used before, um, but you haven't seen it. 
Uh, but anyway, enough uh, talking about bullshit. If you enjoyed the battle, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you later, YouTube.